Okay guys, 13-6 is called Theoretical and Experimental Probability. We're just going to call it Probability um, to save a little bit of time on the labeling. Basically these are the sections of what, uh, what are the probabilities of outcomes happening. For example, um, one of the most basic probabilities that they will use is the toss of a coin. And so if I take the toss of a coin there are two different outcomes. Okay, there's the possibility of it landing on heads, and there's the possibility of it landing on tails. So what are the probabilities of each one of them happening? Well, there are two outcomes, so we're going to be looking at fractions again. There are two possible outcomes, so my possible number of outcomes goes on the bottom, my denominator, and my total number of possibilities goes on the top as my numerator. So there's only one way to get heads on a coin. Now for all of you who are thinking of cheating at this point, this is a two-sided coin, so not a double-sided coin. And so the probability of getting tails is going to be one half as well. Anytime you take an event um, of, of a, the probability of an event occurring, if you add up all the total possibilities, you should get one and one half plus one half gives me one. That tells me I have one event. And so one of the other common um, forms used uh, is, um, is dice. And so on a dice, I, it is six-sided, so I have six different outcomes. So somebody might ask, uh, what's the probability, and they're going to represent probability with a capital P, what's the probability of rolling an even number? And so I have to think to myself, okay, my denominator is all of the possibilities it could be. So it's a six-sided die, so I could have six sides or six options. And how many of those are even? Well, if I go one through six, the even numbers are two, four, and six. So there are three even numbers, and just like any fraction, I would reduce this to one half. It might ask you, what's the probability of rolling a six? And so, again, I set up my denominator with a six, and there's only one six on the die, so the probability of rolling a six is one out of six. Now, they might get a little tricky at some point. They might ask you, what's the probability of rolling a 7? And so the probability of rolling an event that's impossible is going to be 0, because on a, on a 6-sided die, obviously there is no 7. So that could be an option as well. Um, another common one is they might have bags of marbles. So let's start with marbles. And let's say I have I have four green, six red, and eight blue. Okay, four green, six red, and eight blue. What um, what's the probability? Let's get some problems here. What's the probability of pulling out? A red. Now, for my denominator, I need to know uh, how many marbles are total. So there are 18 total. So my denominator is going to be 18. And out of those 18, how many of them are red? And there are 6. And so 6 18ths will reduce to 1 -third. So the probability of me pulling out a red out of those marbles is one third. Um, let's let's do another one. What's the probability of pulling out a blue? Okay, my denominator is still 18, but in this case there are eight blues. So now I reduce that. Um, find a number that goes into eight into 18. So I think my number is going to be two. And that's going to give me 
four ninths. Okay, so that's that's single event probability. What if you had two events? What if you tossed a coin? And then you rolled a dice. Now, we're just going to roll one dice, so that would actually be a die. And I'm not exactly sure how to spell that, so I'm just going to keep dice up there. So we're going to toss a coin, and we're going to roll a dice. And so what's the probability of getting a tails and... A six. Well, we need to find out each one individually. So from our previous work, we know the probability of getting a tails is one out of two. We know the probability of getting a six is one out of six. And now with two event probability, what we do with those is we multiply them. So we take one half times one sixth. Again, in multiplication, we multiply straight across. So the probability of getting a tails and a six is one twelfth. Now let's try another one with that example. What's the probability of getting a heads and an even? So probability of getting a heads is one half. From our information before, we know that half of them are even, so this would be one half as well. It actually came out to be three sixths, and then we reduced it. And so we're going to multiply these together, and that gives us a final probability of one fourth. Okay, so that's two event probability. Um, again, denominator is total number of outcomes. And the numerator is the possible outcomes that they are asking for. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow.